Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about simple nodular goiter. Let's get started. You can see here the diffuse hyperplastic goiter and when we give iodine there will be increase in TSS and to result into the involution of the diffuse hyperplastic goiter towards the normal follicle. If we give excess iodine during this condition, it will result into hyperinvolution of the gland, making it full distended with colloid and flat epithelium named colloid goiter, which is a non-functioning SNI. So due to deficiency in iodine, there is diffuse hyperplastic goiter. And when you give the iodine, it will involute. So repetition and when the iodine is excess, it will cause colloid goiter. So the repetition of this process will result into heterogeneity. Okay. So in this process, what happens is there is hemorrhage happening, which will cause central necrosis of the follicles which will collage and join together form nodules okay resulting into simple nodular goit these are the nodules over here and the nodules here are inactive whereas the internodular tissue are active in this process so you can see here the multiple nodules and the domain nodule that is clinically palpable talking about clinical features for symptoms we have cosmetic deformity or respiratory obstruction appearance of Pain and tenderness, hemorrhage resulting into him, uh, which, is, which is due to hemorrhage into the nodule. For signs, sight, it is in the lower part of the front of the neck. Size, variable in size. Shape, butterfly shaped. Surface, nodular. Consistency, form, cystic, cystic degeneration, hard, calcification, tenderness if infections, and nodules are smooth, form, and painless. So, the, talking about complications of simple nodular goiter. The first thing that the tracheal obstruction by compression can happen. Secondly, thyrotoxicosis in 30% of cases, malignancy, follicular carcinoma can develop in 3% of cases, cyst formation. hemorrhage into a nodule which will cause pain and tenderness, calcification in long standing cases and retroesternal extents. Uh, if the track is compressed from both sides it will cause anterior posterior slit or scabar trachea. If it is compressed from the anterior posterior side it will be compressed in this way and it is if it if the if the one of the lobe is markedly large on one side it will be pushed on the another side in long standing cases tracheal rings undergo tracheal malacia and it may collapse post operatively. Yeah. 
here this is the cord section of a simple nodular goiter showing cyst talking about investigations thyroid function test can be performed to exclude mildly toxic goiter thyroid antibodies can be performed to exclude Hashimoto's disease and FNAC can be performed to exclude malignancy or if suspicion of malignancy. For prevention of simple nodule goiter, use of iodized table salt in endemic areas has been proved effective talking about treatment multiple nodular goiter is an irreversible pathology so indication for surgery there is in there are indication for surgery the number one is tracheal obstruction or for cosmetic reasons and for complications so we have three things here compression cosmetic reasons and complication 3c compression cosmetic reason and complication and it is not performed below 25 unless very much needed is there is high chance of recurrence so We'll just look into how thyroid operations are performed. Thyroidectomy is performed. This is subtotal thyroidectomy, where we, we leave the posterior medial portion of the thyroid low. Lobectomy and total thyroidectomy. In simple nodular goiter, we try to leave 8 gram on each side. And it is the choice of surgery of choice. And lobectomy, according to the distribution of the etiology, in lobectomy, we remove the medial half of another lobe. Also, Thank you for watching this video.